imagine a painter and decorator being surrounded only by Renaissance art. Of course, a painting. He, he's the one. He's the one. He's the, 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 he's the painter and decorator. Yeah, the, the, the doctor put him in a room with with the books and the and the paintings, and that is why. That is why he is like he is. Why don't you ask him, Victor? Victor, you're a painter and decorator, aren't you? <laughs> Do you know who I am? I am Victor Monroe. We oh. dreams. Well, oh, well, that's got that sorted out, hasn't it? Genius, artist, poet, weaver of enigmas. King, prince, cyclist, I have kissed the face of the Sphinx. I have suckled the teats of Ariadne herself, and I have danced naked with a horse at midnight. Oh, I shall tell you a piece of my history. Genius runs through my family like fine wine down the throat of a goose. Oh, my grandmama. I can see her now, her shiny cheeks and her enormous ear, the size of a small boat. Grandmama. Was an artist, of course. Mm. She was an abstract expressionist of the highest caliber. Many a time, I would return from school dressed in my little culottes and tiny silk boots, and she would daub me in blue paint and then hurl me repeatedly at a canvas over and over. Oh, she was a powerful woman, over seven feet wide. I have lived for time, and time will tell. For I am the Lord through and through. For when I checked my parents' birth, I found they were not from this earth. The document which held my origins had disappeared and been replaced by a secret document which I traced to a laboratory for genetic research in Palestine, no less. As it transpired, my birth was part of an experiment where they had taken the blood from a tiny flea. Yes, a flea, a tiny flea, and extracted the blood from a flea, which they found on the shroud of Turin. Preserved in some sort of wax, the flea contained the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lord Himself, and from that blood, they cloned a thousand Jesai, of which I am one, among many. Jesai, an army of Jesai, we shall storm the earth, we shall walk barefaced across the earth and claim what is rightfully ours, claim the world and claim the universe and claim the right to shilly shally like a little dog. Oh, Danny boy, kiss my eyes. If eyes could speak, what stories would they tell of colors and eyelids? Oh, I have memories, memories, memories surround me. Sometimes sweet as a biscuit. Other times sour, like a tangerine left too long in an old cupboard in Barnsley. I was a young man once. I was a flapper, a gadabout, a little Johnny Brewster, <clears throat> full of the hopes and dreams of youth. Yes, I remember I took my first job painting decorative collectors' plates for a small firm in Devon. We advertised in the Sunday supplements.、Mm. I remember the first scene I painted for them. See the little tomcat stretching and yawning in front of the roaring fire. In which lies a smouldering bagful of his own kittens. <laughs> of course, they failed to understand the truth, the darkness of the vision I was trying to communicate. They failed to see the truth of kittens. Kittens, of course, being miniature tigers, who would sooner lacerate us like a man. Their little eyes staring, their beady little eyes like cold pebbles staring. Oh, Vietnam! The memories haunt me still. I was a war artist. Posted deep in the Mekong Delta, I would be parachuted into the midst of battle, armed only with a canvas and some acrylics. Can't you be still for a moment? I had to kill a lot of my subjects just in order to stop them moving around. Now, Mahuni, sweet, pretty little messenger. Now, more than ever, is the time. More than the last time was the time. Now it is the time for you. Sweet clay dwarf of the night, are no longer one. You are legion. Oh, fly into the night, tiny men. Soar into the cursed sky and do my bidding. Fly, fly, fly! You bloody blasting tossers! You clay bastards! How does Tony Hart do it? I'm Victor Monroe. No, you're not. You're Julian. 
Painter and decorator from Barnsley. I'm Victor. Julian. Victor. Julian. Victor. Julian. I'm Victor. Julian. I'm Victor. Painter and decorator. Painter and decorator. Painter and decorator. <laughs> At two pounds for the wall. I mean, that can stay as it is, I think. That's full blue eye raging like that. Put that down there like it's Midnight Peach. I, I thought I'd be a nice contract to start with Midnight Peach. Midnight Peach, what does that sound like? I haven't got any on me at the moment, but I can get back to the garage because I've got loads of it at home. That's in Jules, but I'm going to get it vanned up. Quick as a flash in van and that. Pretty quick and sharpish. Yeah, two sugars up without milk. Two sugars. <laughs> Just hold the biscuits. <laughs> two, two, two sugars. Two. So, how do you feel now, Victor? Fine. Good. Right, well, there's the door. See you next week. Goodbye.